morning folks, welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. If you have watched any of our previous videos, welcome back. Episode 11, I think this is, of week to week. If you're a regular here, I thought I would change it up a bit. We are starting off the week in the office. No orders to go out today, so it'll be mostly an office day. Actually, the way it's shaping up, it might be mostly an office week. This might be quite a short video, but we'll see what happens. Just realised that for some reason I didn't post episode 7 last week, so I'm about to go and do that this morning. Finished off 8 last night. We'll get that ready to post on Wednesday of this week. What else is on today? A lot of office work. Probably, as I said, it's probably going to be a lot of office work this week in general. Getting ready for our big rebrand starting next week. I'll talk you through that. Maybe this afternoon or maybe do it tomorrow. I'll talk you through that at some point in this video. That we are changing names. Quite a big thing to undertake. So as I say, I'll talk you through it in more detail coming up. But it is Monday morning. It's 8 o'clock. Going to do a few hours here and then... We may go up to the warehouse, we'll see what happens the rest of the day, but yeah, feeling good, been out, been in the gym, been to the sauna, got my coffee, we're in the office, we're feeling a bit more energised than he is. Yeah, here's hoping for a good week, let's see what it takes us, and as always, we'll bring you on the journey, and I'll show you as much as we can. A right, quick update, just walking up to the workshop at the moment, I need to go to run to the welders quickly with a repair unrelated repair so yeah going to quickly run to our i say the welders our local blacksmith machine shop um i might show you around that here in a second what we're taking over and what did i get done this morning sent out or scheduled to send out a bunch of emails just a lot of our suppliers letting them know as from monday coming our name will change so as i said I'll catch up with you this afternoon on that, let you in on the full details, but send them out today. Today is actually a bank holiday for most of the country, so a lot of them were just automated responses. The people were off and be back tomorrow, which is, is good actually. The ones that I sent, scheduled some to go out tomorrow morning, but the ones that I sent out, a lot of people were off, so. Actually the timing worked out okay, means they can go. People can get a chance to see them tomorrow when they're back in. And yeah, let's go drop this part off and then we'll see what we're doing after that. Right, Monday afternoon, just up in the warehouse again, filming some TikTok content. I mentioned earlier that we were starting our own attachment brand and we're needing to keep doing more content for that. If you want to see the full process, Go and head over to our TikTok, take a look over there. There's a full series on starting our own attachment brand. I'm going to film some content just now. I'll show you a little bit on here. You are a regular viewer. You'll know that a Monday is normally a slight earlier finish. I sometimes go play five-a-side football for a bit of exercise on a Monday evening. What's not on tonight, so I'm going to stop just now. I'm going to go do something completely different, reset for a bit. Then I'll get in the office and I'll do a bit more work later on this evening. No point in forcing it just now. I'm going to be less productive than I would be if I took a break, do something else, reset, and we'll go again. I'll get some more done. Might show you that this evening. We might just get back out to the office. If not, that'll be us for Monday. I told you this might be a fairly uneventful week. It is Tuesday afternoon. As usual with the day after a bank holiday, not a whole lot happening either in terms of orders going out. Did take a couple of orders for some bits and pieces. Need to make some hitch brackets and things and they'll probably go out the end of this week. I'll obviously show you them when it happens. Not a whole lot happening today. We'll see if much else happens the rest of the week. If it keeps up like this, we'll maybe just join this week and next week into the one video. But we'll see what that's like by the end of the week. Got some more video content to make this afternoon. So I'm going to go on with that. I'm going to look out some parts that need welded this evening. Other than that, it will just be office work, which as I've said before, is necessary, but is completely boring to show you. So 
yeah, I'll keep you updated as usual, but at the moment, not a whole lot of exciting happening on Tuesday. While it has been a fairly slow day in terms of stuff actually going on in here, we do have a delivery. So let's go and get that and I'll show you. It. In fact, I know what it is. It's not that exciting, but we'll get it unloaded and we'll show you anyway. Although I say not that exciting, you have seen, it's only because you've probably seen me deal with these a few times before. So it's just one attachment that we've been waiting on. So I'll go and get that unloaded. That didn't sound terribly healthy. But it's my only big fault left option. I will show you around that one at some point. Because uh, I have actually ended up with three forklifts in here, but I will show you around that at some point. But let's go and grab this delivery just now and get it back down here. Woody, come on, in you come. Yay! Good boy. As I said, if you've watched any of our episodes before, you've probably already seen some of these. So, anyway, let's get it unwrapped. I'll show you around it anyway. There we go, a little Kangini TC1-60. 600 mil wide hydraulic flail for one ton to three ton mini excavators. If you haven't seen it before, I'll put a link here to a video where I take one of these flails, put it on a mini digger and go and test whether you can track, whether you can travel and cut at the same time. But yeah, as I said, if you've seen any of our content before you've probably seen some of them that's one we've had on order for a while and to be honest just never had a need to get it picked up but it's here go on the shelf be ready for anybody that needs something in a hurry morning wednesday and the weather is glorious as i said yesterday not too much going on in the way of orders going out spent some time in the office this morning just uploading episode eight which i will link here Go back and watch it. That's, that's a pretty good one. That's that's. I'm going to go out there, put it out there and say that's the best weekly episode so far. So episode 8 of Week to Week is up. Go watch that if you have a spare half an hour. What is on the plan for this morning? As I said yesterday, I think we have a cradle hitch to weld up. I'll have to go take a look in our backup storage container because I can't find the parts in the warehouse. Computer says we've got them. Hmm... They don't appear to be here, so I'll go take a look in there, see if I can find them. That'll let us get that cradle hitch welded up. Woody? Woody? Yes. We have a couple of other bits and pieces to do this morning. Other than that, today is pretty much going to be office work again by the look of it. As I say, this week might be fairly boring watching for you, but if anything comes up, I will keep you updated. said it before and I'll keep saying it, the life of a small business owner is one minute you're doing one thing with not a lot planned, not a lot on to happen, a couple of phone calls and that quickly changes so you've seen me there changing the tip on this log splitting cone, that's for a customer that was interested in a cone, we don't have a new one, I do have this one that I've used for videos in the past, like this video here. So what I've done, I've put a new tip on it, I've sent him some pictures, hopefully it's a good option if he needs something fairly quickly. I was in the middle of doing that, took another phone call from a customer that had ordered an auger package weeks ago and we had sent the invoice multiple times and he was paying it and then not paying it. Anyway, short story long, he gave me a phone, gave me card details, so 
that is now good to go. I'm going to go pack it up just now. Try and get it out today. It is about 11 o'clock, but I should make it in time. We'll pack it up. We'll get it out today. I'll be with him tomorrow. I know he took a couple of weeks to pay us, but that's not the point. We've got time. We can get it out as quick as. If I get it out today, he paid this morning. If I get it out today, it'll be there tomorrow. And at the end of the day, I think that's what a lot of people, me included, expect when you when you buy something. It's just became the norm now that you expect it to turn up in a day or two. So we should not be any different when it comes to what we sell. So I'm going to go pack it just now. Get it out. As I say today, I'll show you around us packing it up. I'll show you what it is before we finish packing it up. And that'll probably take us up to lunchtime and then we'll be back probably in the office this afternoon. But first thing, let's go pack this. Right, let me show you around this quickly. If you have seen any of our previous week to week episodes, you've probably seen me pack a bunch of these. But it is kind of one of our more standard Auger Talk packages. An Auger Talk 3500 Max Earth Drill Drive Unit, Auger Drive, call it what you like. A 250mm S4 Tungsten Auger and a double pin cradle hitch. This case to suit a Volvo ECR25, I think. That's pretty much got everything. It's got hydraulic hoses, comes with the drive. We've included a pair of flat face quick release couplers. So that's pretty much everything the customer will need to get going. Stickered it all up, made sure everything's there, put the thank you note in. There's a quick gift to make up to go as well for the customer. And other than that, that'll be pretty much ready. We band it to the pallet, wrap it, tape, label. You've seen it dozens of times, I'll show you that in a second. Other than that, that's pretty much it. That is all there is to it, to packing up one of these orders. Pretty much the entire process of packaging up one of our auger orders. That's as standard as it comes in here. I'm going to take that up to the top yard just now, drop it off. Pallet ways should be in this afternoon to pick it up. We'll then go, what time is it? Might stop for lunch, we'll see what time it is. Then need to go take a look, as I said earlier, in our storage container. See if we can find the parts we're looking for. I'll quickly show you that once we're down there. And then we'll see where the afternoon takes us from there. We're really raiding the backup storage now. This is where the stuff that we're a little bit overstocked on or doesn't fit in the warehouse comes in here. So it's mainly like auger cradles, some top hitch brackets, some 300 diameter augers in the back. So. Yeah, nothing too fancy, but it is where we keep some extra bits and pieces. Alright, Wednesday afternoon, just got done, I went and welded up one of those cradle hitches. I never bothered filming it, because I was just trying to get it done before this evening. So I've welded that up, I've put some paint on it, just letting that dry. I'll get that in the morning, I'll show you packing that order up. That was for an order that came in about lunchtime there, so customer was in a real hurry to get it for Friday so I've welded that up we'll pack it up tomorrow and that'll be with him on Friday other than that just again done a bit more paperwork and stuff been in the office for a bit as well so I'm going to head back there just now and then it's a slight earlier finish tonight because I'm going to go play five sides get some exercise in it's been a week and a bit since I got any proper cardio exercise in so finish a wee touch earlier go there play five asides for an hour, get a bit of running in and then we will probably get back, maybe get in the office for an hour or two this evening, we'll see where that takes us. That is pretty much us for Wednesday. Morning again, Thursday morning and as I said yesterday, it does not take much for you to go from not having a lot on 
to having quite a bit on. So, we're out this morning, finished painting up the cradle that I welded yesterday. As I said to you, I'll show you that in a minute. We've got that order to pack up. We have the order for the log splitting cone that you seen me changing the tip on yesterday. Need to pack that up. And then I've just taken an order this morning from a customer in Wales for a complete 3CX, JCB 3CX auger package. It's an 8,000 max, couple of augers, some wear parts. So we're going to go and pack that up. And to be honest, that'll probably be Thursday morning time we get all those done. As I said before, doesn't take a lot when I'm just in here myself. I'm the one answering the phone with the, taking the sales inquiries. And then I'm the person out packing it up. So, um, yeah, it doesn't take a lot before you are busier than you would expect it to be. But always a good thing. All orders are very much appreciated. So I'm going to go get through some of these, pack them up. Um, yeah, let's do it. I'll show you around the round. Glorious morning as well, look. That makes a difference. I suppose we'll give this a run. I haven't really used this yet. I've ordered a charger for it, so hopefully we can use it a bit more. Will it go? That is the question. Never in doubt. Never in doubt. Considering this thing is older than me, 1989. Yeah. If the charger works for this, it's coming. That'll be class. And the visibility is actually much better out of this, look. You actually see what you're lifting. Oh. Electric forklifts are the way forward. That's class. I'll show you around the little, the little electric forklift when I get a bit more time. I'll do a proper tour around it, but I haven't used it much because I got it without a charger. Which meant as soon as I ran the battery down, I could no longer move it, so I haven't really been using it. This is kind of the first time I've drove it about there, but ordered a char bought a charger on eBay, so hopefully it fits. Hopefully it's the right one. You can keep using that a bit more. Hey, Bun and Jesus. process there's a couple of augers on the shelf above the camera here i'll grab them down and stick them on the pallet with this auger package and then i'll show you around all right i'm hurrying to get these get held up a little bit so i'm hurrying to get these finished before the courier comes to pick them up but let me quickly show you around what i'm packing up this morning it's a 200 mil Double pin cradle hitch for a Bobcat E10 and a 100mm S4 tungsten auger. As I say, that package there is for a Bobcat E10. Would look something like this once it's on the machine. And also, last one, the biggest order of the day and the biggest order of the week. An auger torque 8000 max drive unit. A double pin cradle for a JCB 3CX. An S5 400mm rock auger, those are the rock teeth. A 300mm rock auger and there's a 150 still to go on the top of there as well. The 150 is up there somewhere. I need to bring that pallet back down, stick that in the top of those once I've got the lids back on. But yeah, that's a quick run round what we're packing up this morning. As I said, went from not much happening today to being a little bit pressed for time, but we're nearly there. Just got the lids to go back on, as I say, that 150 auger to go on the big package, drop everything to the pallets, wrap them up, tape them, labels are all printed ready to go, so 
I'll set up just a quick time lapse here, I won't bother boring you with everything, but I'm just going to run through them, get them packed up, get them out. One there, the big package, two sitting outside, three in total done this morning. Did just get payment for a fourth, but to be honest, I need something to eat, so I'm going to go and get some lunch, come back out and pack that, but it is all the way back there. It's a little bit of a pain, but we've got the main ones out for the day. Hopefully we can still catch that one today, if not, it will leave tomorrow. And that's pretty much us for Thursday morning. So you can stick some labels on this, start moving them up to the top yard, go and get some lunch, and then we'll come back out, pack that one. All right, Thursday afternoon. Trust me, you'll be glad you didn't have to watch me struggle to get that down, but that auger was away up there. Managed to get it down, it's on the pallet now. 350ml S4 tungsten auger. I'm going to quickly get this package because pallet ways have not been in yet. I'm going to get that done and then hopefully they turn up, get everything picked up today. Finish a little bit earlier this afternoon because Laura and I have some wedding stuff to go and sort out. And we are picking up a new computer for the office as well when we're out. So I'm going to get that packed, get it out and that'll be us for Thursday. Friday again. Another work week, nearly done. I feel like I say this every week, but I don't quite understand how it's Friday already, but it's Friday, the sun, ah, it's a little bit grey looking, but the sun's pretty much out. It's a nice morning again. Just a couple of small orders going out this morning on UPS. A couple, in fact, three extension bars, and at the moment that's it, so. Just taking a walk up, going to go and bring the forklift back down from yesterday. It was up in the top yard just to load up those couple of orders from yesterday. Got to go bring it down, we'll pack up these small orders ready for UPS coming in and then we've got a bunch of content to be making ready for Monday. <laughs> just remembered there as well when I was thinking through what we had to do today we have a small tractor mounted flail going to pick it up locally take it to another local customer who has bought that as well not something we normally get involved in but more than more than willing to help if we can source good quality attachments at the right price so that's this afternoon, customer's not in till later on this afternoon, so we'll go and do that after lunch. Um, and of course, I'll show you around it when we're there. Done! Alright, nothing terribly exciting for this morning's orders. Two one metre and a half metre extension. That's pretty much all that's going out. That's him ready to go, leave them at the door, UPS will pick them up this afternoon. Let's go pick this flail up just now, so we've got that ready and we're ready to go this afternoon, we'll go and drop it off. It's Friday and it is 20 past 3 and we are off to deliver a flail, is that right? That's a flail. A flail, and he's got a very interesting name, it's not one of our... Our usual brands, um, but William can probably explain that a wee bit more. So, yep, we are just en route just now. So take two, if you talk normal, um, we've got a flail in the back, um, we're off to take it to a local place called Colburn. It did went up again, didn't it? And then I think we are going to be recording another podcast today. Hopefully, if not that will be tomorrow, but tomorrow looks be quite a busy day. But yes, what Laura said is right, we do have a flail in the back, like I said this morning, a little second hand 1.25 wide 
TTO driven three point flail. So we're just going to go drop it. Somehow Laura's forgotten how to speak to a camera. Right. It's too. I don't know what to do. She's gave herself like this view. My arms are sore. I haven't been working out this week. I don't know why they're not working sore. So yeah, as I said this morning, we're gonna go drop this flail off. Laura will hopefully get just a short bit of video. Probably should have taken that before we left, but we never. We'll try and video some dropping it off at the customer's place. If not, I will stick the picture in here of it. Um so yeah, we'll catch up with you this afternoon. Bye. Should have taken a wee bit of video of the flail when we had it in the house, but didn't. Yeah, Also just remember this is the first outing for the new trailer. Albeit with crane on, which would have been handy to unload this, but a, a non-working... Well, I don't know, I've not actually tested it yet. So, we're out with the new trailer, we'll show you that in a bit, either when we get here or when we get back. And then in between times, Laura's going to shoot some arty shots. Morning, Saturday again. We're just out the front of the house at the moment. My plan was this morning to get in the office for a few hours. However, the fibre internet connection to our house and therefore our office has been offline since yesterday evening. So, I thought we'd get some work done at the house for this morning. And seeing as, seeing as this is episode 11 and you've seen me pack up numerous auger orders we thought i'd actually show you us using one so we're building a fence there was an old net fence here on the way in to the driveway at my house you can see it runs along the back of that hedge it came to there where, I've, where you can see that hole and it went down the side of this path and then joined on to the timber fence there more i haven't marked it out yet but more or less the same on the other side came from that corner down the edge of this tree and to the this fence, this timber fence here actually finished out here somewhere I've taken a bit off it just to give us some space materials are there I've had them for a couple of weeks now so you can see there I've marked out the line pretty much where we're going and where the post holes are going got really space to be able to build a gate at this end so we can get into the trees but it's going to be post, rails and then slats, exact same as that style fence there. So that's the theory. I'm going to spend a couple of hours this morning getting the posts set out. I brought a little 5 ton Takuchi TB250 down. I'm going to go back up with it, pick up an auger, drill the post holes. Hopefully we can get them set today and then we might get back to it tomorrow. And stick some rails and some slats on but if we get the posts in, that is a good chunk of the work done, so let's go start with that, see how far we get. Right, we're hooked up. That's a 750mm diameter though. That might be a little bit overkill for what we're needing. So we'll drop that off. I think there is... Yeah, I think they're 300s. I think they are 300s. What else is about here? Oh, we may have to go and crack out a new one. Try not to do that if I can avoid it. You know what? We'll just stick that one on. We'll go with it. I think it's a, it might be a 250. We'll measure it up in a minute. But that's unpinned. Drop that off and then we'll get that one on. Hi. 
right, we're hooked up. We're good to go. I don't know how much you caught of that there. That was actually on camera, but got the 750 off. Picked up this 250. Let's go drill some holes. As I said, if you've watched any of our videos, you've seen us supply dozens of these setups. So let me quickly talk you through this one before we go and actually put it to work. In this instance, I've got an Ogletork 8000 Max drive unit on a Takuchi TB250 5 ton excavator with a double pin cradle hitch and a 250mm S5 tungsten auger. It's going to be more than enough power for what we need. We're doing, as I said, 250mm diameter holes to about a metre deep, so this is going to be more than enough. So let's go, I've marked them out, let's drill some holes and set some holes. Hole drilled, we've got it 700mm deep. Obviously this post is too long. I'll set it in and then I'll cut it to the finished height when we're done. But, Gonna go grab a couple of bags of postcrete, stick them in the hole, get this set up plumb, and we'll go on with the rest. That's one done, nice and square. As I said, I'll cut that off to the finished height to save trying to put like a metre and a half hole in the ground. One, two, three, four, five more to do. Five more to do on this side. Same on the other side. Let's stick with it. Should probably have said this caveat at the start of the video, but I am by no means a fencer. I know about drilling holes, I know about operating machinery. I don't build fences for a living, so we are very much winging this. I think my plan at the moment is if I set this corner post, that'll let me run a string line both that way and that way around the turn. That way we can make sure the posts in between actually line up. That's a theory anyway. Let's try it. Alright, Laura's just came back. Let's see what she makes of the fence post work so far. Hello. Hi. Initial reaction, please give us your feedback. It's a bloody mess. What did I tell you? What do you mean, what did you tell you? What did you tell them? Never mind what I told them. Oh. Was it was a mess. Tighter than it was. So you get all morning. All morning to you, it's a mess. You've made a mess. It's, not, it's lovely. It's lovely. Mm. No, good job. She thinks I'm an amateur. I mean, I am an amateur, but I post created the post in, geez. That's why there's empty bags of posts. <laughs> Posts in. Posts are in. We went for we were going to have two and then now we've seen one because it'll fit the rails fine. We've got them fine. So we've got all the posts in both sides and then we'll get tidied up and then we can do the slats maybe tomorrow. We're we'll putting rails on the day, are you? Um, if you want to put rails. Uh, mm. No, because I want to tidy up in there. Okay. Right, we'll, sit, we'll put the machine back. We might have an extra bag of post crate and that hole there is a little bit slack so we'll maybe put another bag in there. Other than that, job. Okay started at least good yeah. start on it um, yeah 
that's pretty much us for Saturday folks, we're just going to tidy up here, probably won't show you much tomorrow, I've got some stuff on in the morning and then I might get out in the office, big, big grandpa birthday, Laura's grandpa is 94 tomorrow, he's just painted his own fence, he's 94, we're going out for breakfast in the morning, we'll get back, we'll do some work in the office in the afternoon, now that our internet is back on, so again, Thank you very much if you watched all the way to the end, it is much appreciated, that is us for episode 11. As usual, get in the comments if you have any questions, one of us will do our best to get back to you and answer them on anything, on us, on the business, on what we do here. Leave us a comment, let us know, let us know your feedback on this episode. We will get your fence update in next week probably, hopefully by the next week's episode will be done. The weather's to be good next week. Even better, the weather's to be good, Laura says. So. Yeah, press subscribe as well would be doing us a massive favour. Um, other than that, that's us for episode 11. We will see you next week. Cheerio. Bye.